you can tell as much about a character the way that they walk across a room than an entire monologue. The notion is that when the character has such an important thing to say, no longer will mere words accomplish that. They have to sing it. A good collaboration between a musical director and a choreographer is essential. Tim and I communicate really well together. We get in the room, I create movement. He says, oh, I know what to do with the music here. You kind of expect people to buy in, but it's not a given between Joe and Danny and hopefully myself that we really encompass the world and all the things that go with it. So when the singing and the dancing happens around that, there is a point to it and a context for it. Do you want to do this flat or do you want to do it up in the angles? I would like to play it flat. When you, as a choreographer, create staging and movement and then all of a sudden the actors develop it into something that is much greater than I could have even imagined in my head. That is just the most delightful way to be in a rehearsal room. Keep swinging that stuff at 109. Once the band comes together, and then when we put that together with the singing at the Zitz Probe, it sort of becomes a collective voice. And just sort of seeing the growth of that kind of round itself into shape, for me, is always just a really thrilling part of the process. Creating theater is an act of generosity. And for any of us who work in this business, we always have to be grateful and we always have to feel blessed and we always have to root for other people's success as much as our own. For any audience member, to whatever level that they may have played the piano or listened to the songs or maybe they don't have any inclination toward music at all, but as soon as people hear the music, they're like, I'm so happy right now. Once you have found her.